welcome to All About The Bases. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm Lee. I'm Nathan. And uh, today we're having a look at this range of uh, Fender Precision Bases. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We did this a few years ago when it was the uh, the latest that, that series back then. But now we've got them all in. Um, thought it was a good time to, yeah, to show off what the whole range is doing. So basically from the player up to the ultra in the standard range before you get to you got the there indeed this gorgeous gorgeous orange that's a very lovely orange it's lovely, I, I do like that color a it's, lot it's good isn't it it's i can good. imagine that they, they do other funky shades in that they range do, do they they do and please have a look down below all the links will be below to see all the different colors of these today and different woods in the necks all the finishes um i can't possibly remember them off the top of my head because there's so many but you have, have a look below and say the multiple finishes in each so Hmm. So that's the uh, the player. Yep. This is the performer. Indeed. Can't say I'm crazy about the matte satin finish. Oh really? Yeah. First, do first like impressions. That? It's. Do you know what? It's. You don't see it through the rest of the range, but no, I'm probably with you. I'm. It's yeah. A bit hit and miss with me. I don't think that. But they do other finishes that aren't satin. They right? do. Yeah. There are okay. some gloss gloss so finishes. This is just happens to be the one that I have has the satin finish. They yeah. don't all have this. Uh, thank God. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> and then you're up to what's next to you is the is the American Pro Two, which just goes up again into the, in the in the series. Okay. Um, and then up to finally, yeah, again American built, but this is the Ultra. So yeah, right. top end of this the standard. So it's range. just a confusion completely. It goes. That's the cheapest one. That's the next one. <laughs> That's one after that. That's one after that. Back over here. But take. It's really just for your ears, for all us as an experiment as well. It'd be really, really good. But just the A, B, the exact same, you know, through the exact same amp. Yes. Same people well, look, we're both it. going through the same amplifier. We've got a very clever little A, B box down there. Right. Which allows us to go through the same amp. So there's no discrepancy there. Yeah. That's um, it. And we'll, we'll fly you through a suit, like cover the, the main differences in spec as, as we go. But again, full details are below. There might be some stuff that we miss. So do, yeah, just have a look on there. If might anything. be. Oh, <laughs> there probably will be. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but we'll cover all the main, we'll money the main on details. So, um, do, right. shall I start here? Oh, well, please. I shall think we? it's a very good place to start with the, the orange beast. Yes, so I believe this is Capri orange, the finish. There was a competition orange as well, right? But I think this is Capri, which is gorgeous. Oh, I think we looked at them when uh, Trump was about, didn't we? Uh, oh, we did. Oh, we got a bit yeah. of slack. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is where they start in the range. So, you look at about 669 for a player like this, so Fender Player Series. Um, so, you've got standard, this is um, a player series pickups, the standard modern C shaped neck on this as well. And I think they do medium jumbo frets. So, as we go along, they're some of the main differences that we'll point out. They've all say different feels between them you may have a preference that you over the years you've preferred jumbo or you know smaller narrow tall frets these are very small details but hopefully yeah it will bring it out maybe what what is the difference and what's the model for you you know the first difference screaming out to me yes. right, immediately is <gasps> you got an extra pickup yes yeah. So, uh, yes. So yeah. the, these are P bases, as in it's a P base body shape. Yes. And um, kind of neck vibe. Definitely. Um, yeah. What uh, obviously used to happen in the old days was people used to um, do a bit of routing and stick an extra jazz pickup because obviously it gives you a lot more tonal variation. Yeah. Um, so you know that appeals to some people. Yeah. Uh, more. Uh, so you know that's this is something to bear in mind. But they're all under the P-Base banner. Exactly. Uh, because it's the body shape and the neck and all that. So um, That's it, yeah. yeah. No, you're very right, and yeah. It's, yeah but this is one more, the, this is the more traditional as people would uh, would uh, think about it, you know, as a P-Base. Exactly. Um, this is a P-Base, you know, with added uh, thing on it. You know. Yeah, and you, you'll, you'll see, I just think. Added but thing. You, you'll see, like, as we go, I'm pretty sure that this is like the player and the Pro 2 there are more harping back with a couple of modern tweaks, but they're trying to keep it as original or, or, and true to the, the original P-Base. Yeah. And these two are definitely like the, just the modern twist, you know, to really sort of push it a little bit yeah. um, with extra pickup, we say, and this has got an active um, system in it, so we'll go through that, but. Cool. Yeah, so um, this, it's like very, very simple. One pickup, as we've gone through with P-Bases before, volume and tone, and Bob's your monkey, but that, that monkey is very, very sweet. <laughs> well, it is, <laughs> a, it's a sweet monkey. But it also shouldn't take long to demo, so no, get on with it. Get on with it, right. I'll try and play something that's gonna be, we can both kind of do, right? Or, right. or like, uh, yeah. So Don't make e it too complicated. Okay, no worries, we'll go E bluesy, right? off a little bit.
Yes. Very nice. There's a couple in between tones between there, but that's pretty much on half off and off with the tone. It's, it's simple, but it's effective, right? Oh, that, that sound, man. Yeah, yeah. And we, we don't really get to play around with or too, talk to it too much in, um, in these videos, but through the mix with, with guitars and keys and everything else, and it, that, that P bass sound yeah. really, really, it's that chunky sound that really cuts through. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that might be something we'll have a look at. But yeah, just I mean, my past experience, that tone really, really fills the sound, you know, so. Yeah. So nice. Very nice. Well, should we have a quick listen to this one? Please. While it's fresh in people's minds. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to start with the, the P bass uh, pickup then. Oh yeah, great. With the tone off. Oh, much quieter. That's interesting. Is it because of this? we've got both on? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, we'll just play yours quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tone up. It's a bit that. Is it that one? No, one. Oh, sorry. Right, just hit that one. Yep. So that's, that's pretty, pretty similar. Yeah, similar. That's if anything, a little bit more warmth to just my ear straight away. But okay. Um, but yeah, um, again, similar woods might be worth mentioning as well. Just as you would say, this is mostly alder bodies maple necks and either a rosewood or fingerboard uh, rosewood or <laughs> maple fingerboard sorry um but as we go rosewood. Yeah, maple. Rosewood and oh actually this is pal farrow sorry yeah. pal farrow maple and rosewood okay. um but as we go there's slightly different um uh, pickups being used that's the main thing you might start here this is to say the player series pickups these are called the yosemite pickups which i don't know the exact you know details of why they're different but they were made for this new performer range so they are uh, unique to these bases. Oh, okay, oh, well, that's good. Now, obviously, so that was a comparison uh, of mm. the, the, the P-Bass thing. Now, this has the addition of, oh, you've got another volume per thing here, and so you've got your jazz. Uh, And then, if you hit both, you hit both in at the same time. So, that sounds like obviously, it. it's more versatile. Yes, 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 it is, it is indeed. indeed. Yeah, and that's what you're gonna get, hopefully, as you see going up, up to this especially, because it kind of takes that idea, yeah. puts an 18 volt preamp behind it, and gives Obviously, you a bit more I, I get that some people just want that. Which is totally. That's yeah, yeah. so cool. Absolutely. So yeah. I, I can see there's totally a place for that. The authenticity mm. and all that sort of thing. Too right. You know, I've said personally, if I was, you know, in the market for a bass, I want something that had m more than one string. A little bit more than that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And seeing as the the the, the P bass pickups on their own seem comparable. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I think I'd be tempted to uh, to go for that. But yeah. Listen, horses for courses. Yeah. This is, you know, it's not everybody's. Uh, uh, idea so uh that's just me no no absolutely no it's all good um, so this one i mean just another little note this comes with a gig bag um uh, this doesn't come with anything this is just straight as it, it does is. Chris, oh, comes th in a, throw me comes throw in a box. me the bag <laughs> but this comes in a bag really? uh, what? not literally <laughs> <laughs> we gotcha yeah i mean it's a uh, you know admittedly it's not a very good gig bag but it's a gig no. bag you know that's it it's uh, it's one up from a bin liner i'd say so that's it <laughs> It's got fender on it, that. You can quote me on that. <laughs> the fender bin liner. Uh, yeah, and uh, of course the the more the more expensive sort of sexy ones come with uh, a fitted hard case. They do, they do but, indeed. Yeah, yeah, we'll show well, you that. But one of in course, a sec. they're more money. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's you know, it. We'll, we'll discuss the money in a minute. Yeah. We'll discuss the money later. Yes, Don't worry about the money later. <laughs> and the only other thing, just on top of my head, again, these are medium jumbo. These are proper jumbo frets on here. So I don't know if again you, you might have felt something different, but maybe if we swap over a bit, we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll, yeah, do the comparison I haven't felt anything for years, please. <laughs> Shut up. From the waist down, I haven't felt nothing. 
<laughs> from the neck down. Uh, okay. Right. So, so the next. Uh, yeah. I mean, what should we just? Do you want to go straight over to the? Uh, yeah. I think let's look at these two, and then maybe let's come back to just the, the differences between that, yep. and then going up to the um, uh, the other American one. Can do. Can do. So uh, give us two seconds. We'll swap over. But this is by magic. Here we are. Uh, so I've got the. Uh, this one, that one, the standard one, yeah, which mm. is the Pro 2 now. It's professional, Fender Professional oh, 2. Right, um, do you remember the Aria Pro 2? Oh, I think you're far too young, of course. Oh, well, we, uh, but one of my favorite bass players used an Aria Pro 2, that was Cliff Burton. He had a, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Great, I think, great. I think we've covered that in, in a bygone a, video, a Metallica we? video along the, along the years. Yes, check it out. Have a look. Have a look. Yes. And why, if you have a look at the other videos while you're doing that, click some buttons down here. It'll be brilliant. There's a like button. You know, there's some more videos up here. Is there a hate button? There might be. If there is, give it a click as well. And uh, a subscribe button. If you haven't you haven't subscribed yet, join us for more bass videos when they're re released. So, why not? Uh, why not you. indeed? So you get so, all, you get all the fun this time. Ooh, well, I've got yeah, a few more a few more gizmos. So yeah, the main difference is between these two here. You've got obviously yeah, more of a standard looking P bass with your one one pickup. Yeah. And I've kind of swapped places where I've got the, the the jazz pickup as well. So this one has an 18 volt preamp. That one doesn't. That's more traditional to how they were built in the American. Of course, that, that this is a much more traditional. Although yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, string through yeah, and yeah, little belly through. cuts and a couple of little heel joints yeah. like rolled off. Beautiful features like that, and um, so yeah, this is where they start coming with hard cases. So molded hard cases. These are the V Mod Two pickups. So again, just specifically designed for this range. So it'd be say slightly different um, tonality, hopefully, to the, the Yosemites you just heard there. Yeah. And then these again are noiseless. I think they're fourth generation now. I think is um, uh, noiseless pickups. And again, yeah, we've got a whole lot more EQ to play around with. Mm. And while I'm on it, sorry, this has a compound radius fretboard, mm. which if you don't know. It means it goes from curved to flat, basically. Curvy to flat. Um, it's more of a modern, modern setup. If you're a, okay. if you're a, a, a lover of the dusty end, it gets a little bit easier if it's flatter. Right. Um, and a very, very thin uh, sort of D-neck profile on this. This one is more. This is actually based on a 63 P base because uh, it was a slightly thinner neck back in the, in that day. So they've they've based that neck on on that on this one. Um, so yeah, obviously much more traditional. Yes, much that's more it. modern. Yes. Pretty much. Okay, cool. Should we have a quick listen? Go for it. This won't take long. <laughs> oh, stop that. Nice enough of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, very nice. How does it feel? Right? Does it feel, feel much different between the, the, the last last It feels one? very traditional. Okay, yeah. I'll just try it with a pick for, for a mm -hmm. minute. Just get it, because uh, it's always quite nice a P bass with a pick, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. See, that's it. Now that's a classic sound. That is. That is. Oh man, I no, love it. So show okay, me what you've okay, got. Okay. Right. So uh, I will start on neck pickup, and yeah, do that as obviously the comparison. A, a passive. Yeah. Neck I'll go pickup. To passive uh, and that's tone got, that's off. That's got like a passive tone control, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. So you've got this part is your active EQ. So these two here and the one on top. And then when you're in passive mode, this is just an overall tone that it acts at. So and this is a pan between the pickups and the main volume. So I'll start passive, tone off, neck pickup, so that'll be closest to, to the traditional. So. Thanks for no, you're very welcome. That's the least I can do. <laughs> no, no, I was here anyway. <laughs> right, let's um, do, just do a direct then. So do, okay, yeah. do that front pickup. Yep. Yeah. Uh, with tone on. Yeah. 
So, oh. I mean, what, what I can hear straight away is that is a bit noisy. Mm-hmm. But now it's got noiseless pickups. What, what happens when you turn the older... Ah. So it's noiseless in active mode. Indeed. Which is... Interesting. A little bit interesting, a little bit annoying. But, um, okay, so yeah, active mode on, noiseless pickups, and now... We've got the, the boost of signals over the... Probably noiseless. Probably interesting, noiseless. interesting. I don't think I'll get any noise out of this one. It's quiet. Yeah. But quite a lot quieter. This is where you're getting that little bit of a pump from the batteries, isn't it? And so, I mean, passively, they were comparable. They sounded yeah. pretty, pretty similar. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, now you've got all the the other bells and whistles. So Indeed. Do you want to have a little whiz through that? Yeah, so this is, I mean, but what I do, if I put both pickups on, uh, and actually this is on the side of the neck again, I'm on active mode, let me just boost the bass and the treble. Boost the bass. And I'll scoop out the mid-range a little bit so you've got a little bit of a smiley face EQ. Ooh. And let's see what it does to the neck pickup. Equally, let's just take that out and punch the mid-range. Okay, so, so actively, so uh, I'm just trying to think, obviously, now we've got the active circuit with the P-Bass uh, pickups. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. Um, so, I've lost my glasses. What have I done with those now? <laughs> oh, they're here. Found Hooray! Them. So listen, just as an experiment, because let's see what this really can, let's see what this baby can do. Okay, okay, right. So, right, you have a play. Uh, we're gonna, I'm just sticking on the front pickup. Yep. Uh, active. Yep. Let's see what we can, the, what additional p bass sounds we can get with the active okay. circuit, yeah? Yeah. So let's, if that's kind of flat at the moment. All right, go on then. Yep. Yeah. That's nice. So obviously you've got more EQ ability with the active circuit on the Yeah. Back. Yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Very nice. Uh, and quite a lot more output as well. It's, it's it sort of noticeably louder, isn't it? It does. You know, yeah, with that extra yeah, extra power coming through, you really do that a little bit more headroom. All right. Um, but it's gorgeous, man. It is gorgeous. How is so, it to play? Nice? Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I think this is more of a, feels like more of a jazz neck, to be honest, where it's so skinny all the way up as well. Um, so it's, yeah, very, very easy to play. Yeah. Gorgeous. I mean, say slightly different on, on this is say D-shaped neck, as I mentioned at the, at the beginning. Um, compound radius. You've got an extra fret. It's got 21 instead of 20. Yay! And these are, I think these are medium jumbo. So these are back to what they use on the player. Oh, so why? I don't know, but why? maybe it works better with the compound radius. I don't know. Um, but all yeah, right. man, they're yeah, great. Well, all right. Well, look, why don't you try this one? Oh, yeah, I'll yeah, try yeah. that one. Yeah, See yeah, what yeah. you think. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, these yeah. are the two higher end ones. So immediately, this suits me because yeah, I yeah. like that skinny neck. Um, oh yeah, I could feel, yeah. That, that, yeah, I like that a lot more, yeah. and I like the fact that it's got more sounds on it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is more this my cup of tea. Yeah. Um, what do you what do you what do you think about that? This is chunkier, chunkier neck, but still, still skinny. Sorry. This, this reminds me of my, um, my jazz that I've got actually, just a, a slightly bigger but, um, uh, than this. Yeah. 
but um, I, I could have either, to be honest. To be honest, I think I'm used to this because I've had one for 20 years. But this is a pretty new thing with Fender, so I, I yeah, haven't been involved in the yeah, the I, compound or the D-shaped necks. I, I like it. You got that nice satin finish on the neck. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, with it with the active EQ, um, you've got you know with both pickups on, you get more of the. Uh, <laughs> That sort of uh, the modern, uh, you know, nice bright sound yeah. in there. That bridge pickup does do wonders, doesn't it? When you're for that different, that sort of tone, definitely. Yeah. Well, that that's combining the two, and yeah. you immediately get that sort of fat. So, what it's a beast. It's, it's, it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, well, there. I think you know, know where I'm coming from. Yeah, you've made, Nathan's made up a choice. But there we go. I mean, I'd say these two come with hard cases, gig bag over there, nothing with this beautiful one over here, but we'll run you through the prices, right? So, we're looking 669, and then 1199, and then 1649, and then 1899. So, you can look at about four or five hundred quid between. Oh yeah, roughly four hundred quid between. And I guess you know if you're looking for those comparable bases, you'd be you know, depending on your budget. Yeah, it's these two. Mm -hmm. So you know uh, if you if you know you want to keep the price down. Yeah, but stay the, produced. You get the old the player over there for about six seventy. Uh, and then if you've got some more dough, you go for the Pro 2 at 1650. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because that's a big difference in price, right? It's that's grand. Like, that's yeah. another grand more. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's reasons for that. Yes. You know, it's components, yeah, woods, yeah. build, yeah. all of that stuff. Totally. Um, you know, but, you know, like, and hard case. Yes. But, you know, it's obviously you, you get what you pay for yeah. with these things. Uh, and then, you know, these two are obviously uh, comparable too. This one's under a grand. I think, was it nine? That uh, one no, it's eight. not under a grand. That's right. 11, uh, it's 11, 11, 99. 1200. Yeah. 1200 on that one. And, 1900 on this one yeah uh, 600 quid. 600 quid you can different pickups the active circuitry the compound radius different neck shape oh of course yeah okay. yeah yeah, so, yeah so obviously you know you, you can see where your money's going yeah straight away there yeah totally um yeah no great man no i think this is uh, something i want to do because we've done it before when when it was the elites and the the pro ones and for example but thought it'd be good so we've got some stock in now we should just show what the current range is obviously for mm. you guys so yeah here we are very very 2022 nice. and this is what fender's doing yeah our lovely bass players the re your lovely basses i mean you know like i say th this is this is for me i'll take one of these two you feel at home there yeah yeah, yeah it's, oh, you know what? it's for me it's either that was lovely but this again straight away I, I think just coming from i've got an old american standard that i think i'm used to more of this sort of shape so yeah but um, that's just my that's just my opinion you know yours will be different so um, I'm please, sure it will. Every, tell yes. us and tell us if you've yes. got one at home, or say you, you can come and try them yourself. I think that's the best way with these sort of things. You know, we um, if a P bass isn't your bag and you're more of a jazz man, we will have those coming up as well. So keep, oh, keep tuned for those. Yes, we'll do, do the same with the jazzes. You know, so um, I mean, there's yeah. some, I suppose there's some schools of thought that may say, well, this is the best of both worlds yeah. because you know you're getting that you're getting the the two pickup sound. Yeah. And you've got it, you know, pan in the middle, but also you've got the P bass pickup on that the front. Split pickup does add something different to your st standard kind of straight. Yeah, ball, it's it's really just does. got a bit more balls than yeah. a jazz, I'd say. Yeah, uh, you know, so uh, yeah, that's that's worth thinking about. So it might be, and it's a very skinny neck as well, so a lot of jazz. So yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. But yeah, keep, Food keep for tuned. Thought. Keep tuned. Yes, we will be back indeed. Yeah, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little roundup. I uh, hope yes. it's been useful. Um, yeah, it's been all about the bass. I'm Nathan. I've been Lee. See you next time, folks. See you soon. Bye. Much love.